saw you drive up from my window. I didn't expect you back so early. Working with your father means plans change suddenly. I know. He wants me to be prepared to go down south to study operations in two of the factories down there by the middle of September. So I got to go back to Oakdale, speak with my business partner, Craig, before he goes on vacation. Oh, I was hoping you would be here tonight for dinner. Oh, well. I've lived around businessmen long enough to know you can't count on things like that. I'll be back. I just got to take care of a few things, and then I'll probably be here for good until I go down south. That is, if you can tolerate me being here. <laughs> I think I can do that. I guess this means that clouds have got silver linings after all. I've kind of given up on that idea recently. I guess Caleb's kind of responsible for that. But I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you start believing in silver linings again. Oh, well, in that case, you <laughs> hurry back and have a safe trip. Thank you. I was about to write this day off as a total loss, and then, ah, she appeared. Oh, I made you happy. <laughs> yes, you I'm always glad. do. Okay. I'm sorry you had a bad day. You want to talk about it? You do something you think is right, turns out wrong. Would you change it if you could? Do it again? No, I wouldn't, but now... Uh... Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Time out. <sighs> was it Betsy? Isn't everything since I fell in love with her? Oh, I'm a little full with my problems. Let's talk about your problems. Oh, where do I begin? Oh, let's just say I had a pretty bad day myself. I went over to the hospital. Yeah. I talked to Iva. We had a long talk, but I needed to see you. To talk to you. Hey. I hope you always give in to that, Nate. Can I do something for you? I don't know. I don't know. I, I I just feel like there's a big change coming in my life. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. But I have to face it. Funny. Me too. Same thing. Strange, isn't it? No, I mean, not so strange. You know, I feel like a big baby. I, I just... I want to come over here and talk to you and spend time with you. It's comforting. Yeah. Everybody needs it. You know, I never knew that in my entire life. Betsy helped me learn that. That's why it's so hard to take in the fact that I'm going to lose her. You know, from the moment that I found out that you were my father, you've never given up. You're a fighter. The fact that I'm here with you right now, that proves that. Maybe we should stop feeling like losers and start fighting a little bit. What do you think? I think... Yeah. <laughs> I will if you will. That way, if either one of us loses, we still got each other, right? Right. <gasps> <laughs> so while I'm gone, I don't want you staying at the penthouse. I want you to stay out at the farm, all right? Oh, no, Shannon's going to come by with her workmen. I have to be there. Well, I really don't mind. No, put Shannon off. Put the work off. I want you to stay at the farm. Tony, I don't understand. Why are you being so insistent about this? Meg, I would feel better if you're at the farm because I know Rod is not welcome there and I don't I want him near you. you know, I had to... Hold on, Sula. Uh, Iva, I'm going to be out of town for a few days on business. I wonder if it's all right for Meg to stay at the farm while I'm gone. Oh, she knows that it is. Why would you be asking this? I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Iva. Hi. 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 I promised I'd let you know the minute there was any word with Leanne. I'm happy yeah? to say the news is good. Oh, she's great. She's safe. She's out at a, at a farm owned by a Vietnamese family. Hal and Tom were already on their way when the call came in on Hal's radio. Oh. Yeah, he called at uh, Barbara's and told me to let everybody know, especially Lisa and Shannon, who've been waiting by Tom's phone since all day. As a matter of fact, Shannon's been there since last night without a break. Which brings us to the question, how could Shannon be in two places at once? Waiting by Tom's phone all day and shopping with you at noon. I'm really sorry for everything. For causing such trouble on your beautiful farm. Oh, that you are safe is all that is important. I agree. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, you know, I, I still don't understand how you and Andy happened to be here. She's got a hunch and I'm just glad we were right. <laughs> I was so terrified when I heard that gunshot. Well, no one was hurt, and it just went off in the struggle. My deputies got Dune and Denver cuffed in the car. They're waiting for the Chicago police to get here. They're going to want to know about that guy that was killed in the alley. 
Look, Sheriff, she told you what she knew the first time. Can we not have her go through this again, please? No, Paul, I, I don't mind, really. Um, Sheriff, I, I would like to get to a phone first and call Dune's parents and let them know what has happened. Well, he's still pretty banged up from that beating he took. Father? Hey! Uncle! Boy, I ought to kick your butt all the way back to Oakdale for taking off by yourself like Pal, that. Pal, I'm sorry! But I'll settle for a hug instead. on most of these CBS stations. Jewelry by Monet. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns.